very few ancient games have survived the onslaught of modern and new games. A game being played from prehistoric times, which has not lost its sheen and glory even today, is Kabaddi, an invaluable gift to the world of sports from India. Kabaddi is basically an outdoor combative team game of offense and defense. It's a unique game as it needs no equipment whatsoever. It can be played in any condition, any weather and just about anywhere. The thrill and excitement of playing Kabaddi is unparalleled in the field of sports. After originating in India, Kabaddi won the hearts of sports lovers in most Asian countries like Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Maldives, Malaysia, China and Japan. In India, Kabaddi is known as Hadudu in East India, Chedgudu in South India, Kornbada in Western India. Today's name of Kabaddi may have been derived from Kornbada, which means a challenge to the opponent. In older times, Kabaddi was played in three different forms known as Amar, Gemini and Sanjeevani. They all had different rules of the game. The present form of Kabaddi is a blend of the best of these old forms. The rules to play Kabaddi were laid down in the year 1918. The same were printed in 1923. That very year, an All India competition was conducted at Baroda on the basis of these rules. The play field of Kabaddi is rectangular in size measuring 12.5 meters by 10 meters. For women, girls and sub-junior boys, it is 11 meters by 8 meters. For our explanation, we are using a men's court. This mid-line not only divides the court into two equal halves, but is also the entry and exit point for the players attacking the opposite team. This is the end line and these are the sidelines. Behind each end line is a block measuring 8 meters by 1 meter called the sitting block. The players who get out sit here and wait till they are revived again to enter the field. An opposition player has to cross this buck line which is 3.25 meters from the midline while attacking or he will be declared out. If he crosses this bonus line and returns home safely he gets a bonus point. Originally, Kabaddi was played in a mud field by barefoot players. In this rough and tough game, special attention is given to the preparation of the field so as not to hurt the players. The field must be soft without obstacles and properly leveled. As weather and soil differ from place to place, so also the technique of preparing a mud field would differ from place to place. The making of a Kabaddi field is as important as the making of a pitch is to cricket. With the advent of the Hua court, the field of Kabaddi has become uniform. Even the uniform of players has an addition. Now, they are not barefoot but wear soft canvas shoes. Most of the sports are nowadays played in the evening or at night in floodlights. Kabaddi too cannot remain untouched. Kabaddi has two teams of seven players each. The duration of the game is 40 minutes, divided into two parts of 20 minutes, with a five minute interval in between. A player from the team who goes to attack is called the raider and the process is known as a raid. 
The opposite team is the defense or antis. The raider before entering the antis court without touches the midline and starts chanting kabaddi kabaddi. The chant has to be continuous in one breath without a break. It's not an easy task. Try it yourself. The average chant time for men is 30 seconds and for women it is 18 seconds. In a war of wits and power, the raider can earn as many points as the players he can make out. He can do so by touching a defense player anywhere with any part of his body and get back to his side without being caught before the midline. If he touches one person, he gets one point. If he touches two, he gets two points and so on. If he can bring all the seven players down together, he gets an additional two points. If he crosses the bonus line and returns home safely, he gets one point. But a raider has to cross the buck line of the defense in case he is not able to touch any antis. If he comes back without doing so, he will be declared out. The players ousted from the game sit in their respective sitting blocks. A player will be revived whenever his team makes a member of the opposite team out. So, depending on the game, number of players in each team keep changing as the game progresses. The antis can win a point and make a raider out by stopping him from reaching back to the midline, by pinning him down before the midline till his chant is broken. As soon as the raider is out or withdraws, the roles of the two teams are reversed. Now, the antis become the raider and the raiding team becomes the defense. A raid must commence in 5 seconds of the opposite team player's withdrawal or it will be treated as an unproductive raid. Whenever a team gets the whole opposite team out, it wins two additional points called Lona. At the end of 40 minutes, the team who scores more points is declared the winner. Maharashtra state in India is the pioneer state to popularize the game of Kabaddi. Hanuman Vyayam Prasarak Mandal of Amravati demonstrated Kabaddi in the 1936 Olympic Games at Berlin. It received tremendous international appreciation. The first Asian Championship was conducted in 1980 at Calcutta. Kabaddi got a boost when it was inducted as one of the main disciplines in the 11th Asian Games held at Beijing, China. India, China, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Japan and Malaysia participated in the event. In November 2004, Mumbai City had the proud privilege of hosting the World Cup Kabaddi Championship. The Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra State, Mr. Vilasrao Deshmukh, inaugurated the meet, organized by the South Kenara Club. It was a momentous day for the sport of Kabaddi, as not only most of the Asian countries participated in the championship, but traditionally non-Kabaddi playing nations like Canada, West Indies, UK and Germany came out in full force to raise the banner of Kabaddi high up in the field of international sports. A very jubilant and enthusiastic crowd of spectators swarmed the venue Bharatiya Krida Mandir and cheered all the teams. India once again proved its supremacy in the game when it defeated giant killers Iran to win the World Cup Kabaddi Championship. But the rest of the team's efforts did not go unnoticed and sooner or later they are gearing up to throw new challenges in the coming times. Like all sports, Kabaddi too tests a sportsman's mental and physical endurance. To keep fit, a fitness training program is a must. Before any exercise, a proper warm-up and cooling down is essential. Also, what method suits an individual should be decided with a technical coach and his guidance. Medicine Ball Exercises Weight training improves the strength, 
suppleness and stamina to make the body fit. It builds resistance to injury and strengthens the weakened muscles. A player can exercise a specific muscle group like leg or calf muscles with weights as he requires to strengthen for his footwork. So also exercises for other muscles can be done. Exercises for different muscle groups can also be arranged together as these exercises are arranged in a circle of 6 to 12 exercise stations. It is called circuit training. Interval training means exercising in each station for a fixed time followed by a rest pause before going to the next station. In Kabaddi, the radar plays intensely for 30 seconds, then moderately as a defense. As such, interval type of training is good for the players. While most of these exercises are general to all sports people, the one thing of supreme importance in the game of Kabaddi is the chant. The chant has to be in one breath only. To improve and master the art of chanting, there is a specific exercise of yoga, pranayam. Pranayam involves taking of a deep breath and holding it. The chant of Kabaddi is also the art of controlling breath. So, a player who masters the art of pranayam will definitely be able to attack while raiding much more efficiently and with ease. Pranayam is the key to a rich chant which in turn is the soul of Kabaddi. Now that a player is physically fit, let's come back to the game. As said, a raid is the offensive part of Kabaddi. An individual while chanting Kabaddi, Kabaddi attacks the opposition that is the defense. A raid plays paramount role in the game as a raider can even get the whole opposition out in one stroke. The raider is the backbone of his team. He should have good footwork, skill, tactics and counteraction ability so as to attack successfully and come back home.